All right, down here working on the return plumbing here today, and uh, tanks at 126. This is about to kick on, and I made an altitude adjustment. I read online. Uh, flipping a dip switch to the next higher altitude has no reduction in output and it increases the fan speed by 6% and a lot of people online said that solved a lot of noise issues for them. Uh, what, what I'm experiencing is a low pitched drone from these things um, as they fluctuate, modulate um, as they go down to the next cycle, the fan speed changes and you just get this, it, you know, this is all on wood, which is on a wood wall. It's spray foam to the foundation, but it's all tied in and you're just hearing this vibration, you know, this low pitch noise throughout the house. Um, it's not that bad. It doesn't wake you up or anything, but if you're, if you're paying attention, you can hear it. So. Anyway, I thought I'd turn the camera on here real quick and see if this kicks on. Um, if that dip switch adjustment made any difference. So, yeah, probably just going to let this run until that tank drops another degree. Which could be two minutes, it could be 20 minutes. Um, we'll see. The uh, the recirc pumps haven't been on since ten thirty and it's ten since ten twenty nine and it's ten forty nine. So I'm expecting them to kick off any minute now. Um, that's at one twelve. So I think I think we were using the hot water upstairs, which is probably why. I could dump some hot water into the sump pit here. Just enough to drop that tank a little bit to get these to kick on. Maybe I'll do that because I don't want to stand here all day. I'm going to dump a little bit of water here into the pit. So that should have just pulled some hot water from the tank, which was then replaced with cold water. And I'm hoping maybe that little bit was enough to drop that one degree. Yep, there it goes. So let's listen. Wow, it is quieter. So I have this on. So it does get louder still as the modulation drops. So this is total BTUs for the whole system. This is what modulation this unit is at, but they're both pretty much at the same modulation. So there's four stages of modulation. They started at three, now they're down to two. I'm still hearing that vibration. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It does seem quieter though. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. It 
It's like right now you can barely hear it. So this number is divided by two. This is total. So if it's 56, it's, it's really, you know, 28 for each one. So what will happen, you'll see, is as this drops, the incoming water temperature is increasing right now. So we're at 124 on the tank. I bet if I switch this over, I bet the incoming water temperature here is probably somewhere around 125. Which it is. You'll see once this gets down to about 30,000, or a little less, when that's divided by two, it's 15 per unit, and that's the minimum firing rate. So whichever one is the child at the time, because they take turns priority, will turn off. And you can hear the fan as they step down. Tanks back up to 128. So I have a feeling that this one might be the child right now. Because this one stepped down first, I believe. Eventually the child will just shut off, but because I have the temperature, you know, set at 131, it doesn't have enough time to do that before the whole thing shuts off. So we're just shut off. That one's already off. See that? Now that one's off. So this was the child. So the child was already almost off. I still hear that low... that low pitch vibration. There's really anything I can do about it. It just is what it is. Um, that, that dip switch setting did seem to help a little bit. So, yeah. Worth a shot. Anyway, I'm gonna keep, uh, I'm gonna keep working on this. I'll update you guys later.